I am here with Kyoji Horiguchi fighting yeah. for the inaugural Bellator flyweight title on July 30th at the Saitama <laughs> Super Arena. Kyoji, first of all, how are you feeling ahead of this fight? Yeah, I feel good always, you know, and uh, first of uh, flyweight uh, title show. Yeah, I, I'm really happy. <clears throat> you know, I wanted to ask you, first of all, if we go back a couple of months, because you went through just a crazy situation where you were booked into a non-title flyweight fight with Ray Borg, and then Ray had some troubles with his weight cut. The fight was scratched the day of the weigh-in. I, I mean, what was that experience like for you? Mm. Uh, honestly, I don't care, you know, but uh, I'm a little bit disappointed to him. So he's a not professional. Yeah. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, it was, it, it was, uh, <laughs> and it was, and I'm not coming. Um, まあちょっとがっかりしたかなってもうそれだけ言ったから大丈夫ですよ。So definitely, yeah. Just I said, I'm really yeah. little. I was a little <coughs> disappointed to him what he has done. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised? I mean, he's had a lot of bad luck over the years, and then he's also missed weight a couple of times before. Were you surprised that Bellator booked you into a flyweight fight with him? Oh, no surprise. Uh, I'm, I was a, uh, I'm a, um, 今回はしっかりと落としてくると信じていました。でも、落としてきませんでした。はい。<笑> yeah, uh, the, I actually was believing him that he's going to make a weight, but what happened was what happened. Gotcha. Well, it has led to this. You are now fighting for a title. So maybe it all worked out in the end. But talk to me about this fight. I mean, you've got a new opponent here. Um, first of all, what was your reaction when you found out you were going to be fighting for the first ever Bellator flyweight title? Mm, I'm really happy uh, because uh, uh, Bellator opened a new weight class right away. So I'm really happy then. I will get the uh, belt, yeah. <clears throat> and you'd been asking for this weight class for a while, right? I mean, we talked, I think, in December, and you wanted Bellator to open yeah. this weight class. Yeah. But, uh, I guess it's hard, you know, because uh, fighter and they they <clears throat> they offer new uh, new fighter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of do uh, a lot of things to do, you know. So it's hard, <laughs> but uh, right now it's open. So I'm really happy. Absolutely, and you know yeah. this fight now. First of all, Makoto Shinryu. I mean, he's fought in Ryzen. He has one fight for Bellator. He's been winning. I don't think he has a loss since maybe 2018. He's young. Mm -hmm. He's 23. I mean. How do you see this matchup going? Do you miss it? I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Do you think I do you see any other to my mask? Oh, it's a little bit of a thing. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. It's uh, definitely that I'm going to be dominating the, the fight and um, I'm going to finish uh, striking or grappling as a position or either way, but I'm going to finish the fight. And obviously you're training in Florida, but I mean, this fight coming in Japan, does that make it a little extra special for you? Yeah, of course, always a uh, uh, fight in Japan. Yeah, I'm excited. My 
my fans, my family, yeah, everybody excited. Yeah. Are you there now, or are you still in Florida? I'm still in Florida. When uh, when do you fly out? Uh, twenty. Yeah, July twenty. Yeah, next uh, Thursday. Yeah. Good stuff. Are you are you gonna stay and and visit family uh, while you're there? Are you gonna spend a little time uh, at home? Yeah, yeah, little bit. Yeah, after a fight. Yeah, little bit. Stay there. Have a fun. You know. Yeah. And if yeah. all goes well, you'll be able to take that belt around and show everyone. Yeah, of course. Now this is you know an opportunity for you. You had two belts when you were bantamweight champ in Ryzen mm -hmm. and in Bellator. This is a chance to become a two division champ to win a, a title in a second weight class. How important is that for your career and your legacy? Uh, honestly, I, I'm, uh, I'm just uh, focus on next belt, you know, uh, flyweight belt. So maybe it's a future. Yeah, not, not like now, you know, yeah. If if Ryzen were to introduce a flyweight title, though, would you be interested in doing both promotions yeah. again? Yeah, of course. You know, yeah, I will get belts. Yeah, very cool. And you, mm. you know, you you've been talking, like we said, about flyweight for a while now. Did you always know, even when you were fighting at bantamweight, that eventually you would come back to one twenty five? Uh, it depends. You know. <laughs> Yeah, it depends. Yeah. What was uh what what was the the primary motivation? Do you just feel better at one twenty five? Do you feel stronger? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, more stronger, and, and the sizes are not like different. You know. Yeah. And then when we talk about the weight cut, I mean, at at this point, what is the weight cut to one twenty five like for you? Uh, weight cut always easy because my weight is a uh, low, you know. I'm light, so that's a uh, that part is uh, easy for me. <clears throat> well, that's uh, that is good to hear. Now <laughs> we saw just uh, last weekend Alexander Pantoja fought yeah. Brandon Moreno and uh, won the UFC flyweight title. And Pantoja said before the fight that he had. He had trained with you. He learned a lot from you. What was it like working with him? Uh, he ran from me and I ran from him, you know, so yeah, it's a good teammate, you know. And that's that's a like a, a big thing, right? When you have that many big name fighters at a place like American Top Team, how important yeah, yeah. is it to have those high level training partners? Yeah. Because uh, it, uh, I want to go to high level. That's why you know, uh, training partner also need a high level. So that's why I move here. You know, so yeah. <clears throat> when you first made the decision to move to Florida, how difficult was that for you to make? Because I used to live in Japan very briefly many years ago. It's a it's a big move and a big cultural difference. Was it a hard decision for you? No hard decision uh, because uh, uh, I want a more stronger, you know, and a more technique. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, ATT uh, acceptable for me. That's why I'm um, more easily get in there you know so yeah but uh, not a hard decision for me yeah well very very cool glad to see it worked yeah. out what, is it <laughs> something you would like to see other japanese fighters do maybe go over to the west and train there as well yeah like now uh two people three japanese people come coming here so yeah maybe japanese want to come here yeah, I think, yeah. Well, they're no doubt drawn there, at least in part because of you as well. You did the uh, the groundwork there. Yeah, yeah. 
So the other thing I want to ask you about now ahead of this, and I've talked to a few fighters about it is, you know, we don't know what the future is like for Bellator right now. There's mm -hmm. talk, maybe the promotion will sell, maybe it merges with the PFL. Mm -hmm. I mean, does that concern you at all? Would you be excited if that kind of merger were to happen with some of the names they have coming together? Uh, honestly, I don't care, you know, I'm, I'm just fighter, you know, so I'm just fight. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Fair enough. And, you know, yeah. on, on that subject, though, they signed Francis Ngannou recently. And now Francis mm -hmm. has a fight in boxing with uh, the heavyweight champ, Tyson Fury. Mm -hmm. Who do you think wins that fight? I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be a really fun fight. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I think... Uh, What's the name? Boxing, boxing guy. Tyson Fury. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, he gonna, yeah, win because uh, he's a boxer. You know. Yeah. It, it's it's tough going back and forth between sports, right? I don't know mm -hmm. if a lot of people appreciate that. In mixed martial arts, you have to learn everything. In boxing, yeah, yeah. they just focus on that one thing, and they're very, very yeah. good at it. Yes, you know. It's a totally different sport, so that's why, yeah. Would you ever be interested just for fun? I think we, we talked about this once before, but would you be interested just for fun trying a boxing match at some point? Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe at the end of your career, maybe? Uh, if, if somebody uh, call me and... Uh, make a good money yeah of course i will do that <laughs> all right good stuff yeah. kyoji thanks as always for the time today really appreciate yeah. it i'm gonna ask you one Thank more you. question before yep. i let you go just yep. give us a prediction for this fight how does this play out on july 30th mm, i will uh, get finished um maybe submission or uh, ko uh i yeah i will get finished yeah and get the bellator flyweight title as well kyoji yeah. horaguchi thank you very much again thank you. arigato gozaimasu arigato gozaimasu you have a great evening thanks guys yeah.